Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up everybody? Eve Rivera 94 bringing another action figure read. And today we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Avengers Infinity War. This is Iron Man from the Thanos Build-A-Figure Wave. Here on the front we have Iron Man displayed with some effects and some hands. On the side we do have a picture of Iron Man and then of course the rest of the wave is displayed on the back where there is a read up that says a, a sleek suit design and technological upgrades to let Tony Stark gear up as the armored Avenger Iron Man. There's rumors that he's going to have a vibranium uh, suit of armor in this uh, movie. Pretty sure that is uh, pretty possible seeing that you know Black Panther uh, has that tech available so I'm sure he'll probably gear him up or help him out in that way that'd be pretty cool to have a vibranium suit so anyways let's go ahead and get him out the box and see what he looks like say this is a very unique looking armor I really don't know how I feel about this if I like it or not it's different that is for sure we all know that he always upgrades his armor and every movie we have a new mark you know 45 mark 46 mark 47 who knows what mark this is if you guys know let me know I kind of lost count uh, but I'm sure it's in the late 40s to early 50s now seeing that Hulkbuster was 44 I believe 44 45 so um, yeah, anyways, there he is. He looks he looks definitely different. Um Hasbro went with a uh, just a red plastic with gold and blue painted on him. So the only paint is the gold and the blue and the silver, the white, anything like that. You see that is what's painted there. He does not come with a build a figure piece to Thanos. Uh, he is the double pack in the wave with no build a figure piece. He does come with two blasting effect accessories and then he comes with another fist and another open hand. Meaning you can have two open hands or two fists or mix and match whichever way you want. The only ones with a hinge on them are the fist hands. The open hands do not have a hinge that are just fixed in that blasting position right there. So up close we can take a look at his new armor. It's a, uh, like I said, it's a, it's very different than getting used to here. You can see the unique design there on his face mask. How they made this piece kind of just, you know, stretch out to the ears. That's very different there. Um, but... You know, we'll see. I'm sure it looks better in the movie. We just gotta get used to the new armor, at least I do. Uh, it, it looks it looks okay, though. I, I do like that they always have a new armor for him, seeing that Tony Stark always makes new armors. He should have a ton of different armors, which he does, so that's good. Anyways, the sculpt work on this figure is very nice, too, and they did paint in between the lines there, so they did add that detail of silver in between each line there in his abdominal area, down to his... Uh, rib cage over here I guess on the side we have the gold the sculpt is just phenomenal of course this is an all new sculpt we have not seen this armor before so now if they would have painted these lines inside it would have been nicer too um, but really can't complain they painted down here as well so really wondering if this blue on his armor is the light like repulsor blacks emitting out of his armor or is it vibranium or is it you know what is it exactly so very interesting there his head does move left and right. It goes up and down on a ball jointed hinge. The arms go forward and back. They go in and out a little stiff there. There's a bicep swivel. There is a double jointed knee. There is a double jointed elbow. Swivel at the wrist with a hinge on the fist and not on the open hand. There is a diaphragm joint here with a swivel. It goes forward and back as so all the way around there the legs do go forward and back on a t-joint they go in and out about this much right here there are thigh swivels double jointed knees down here and then we do have the ankles on a hinge going forward and back and a pivot as well right there it's hard to make out it's not the biggest deal in the world but you can see kind of there's two tones of red there they didn't really match it up too good it's a uh, on his leg it's a brighter a slightly brighter red than the top of his leg there top of his thigh um, or just his torso for that matter. It's not a big deal. I just wanted to point that out. And the way they sculpted the face mask almost looks like it's removable. That would have been cool if they would have had made it removable. Or we would have gotten a Robert Downey Jr. head with this. Seeing them in a size comparison here next to Mysterio and the movie version of Star-Lord. Uh, we see his height here. also want to put him next to the recently released Invincible Iron Man from the Black Panther Wave. Since this one had an amazing scale to him and he was pretty tall, 
uh, you can see that the Invincible Iron Man one is still taller than the uh, the movie version of Tony Stark here. So maybe he should be as tall as this figure over here because we all know uh, Iron Man should be a little taller since he's in this suit. There he is next to the latest movie. Uh, I think this is the last movie Iron Man figure that we got was the Civil War one. It did come with the Tony Stark head. This was packed in a three pack. Um, which is something they could have given us with this one, but you can see the height difference there. I don't really see much of a difference. Maybe this one's a little taller, to be honest. It fits loosely on there, um, so it's not meant to go on here, but you can pull it off, though. Here's a closer look at that. And there you have it, guys. That concludes my review on the Marvel Legends Thanos Infinity War Iron Man figure. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment. And as always, guys... Have a great day.